my favorites in the entire world. I just want to buy a bunch of them and have them. Not like necessarily for a project, or maybe I should make a project with them. I've bought a few and cut them into pieces, but yeah. So I just, uh, before we start this live stream, I just wanted to say that I feel like we might have been a little bit unclear on our end about what this is all about. Um, since this is like a little bit different from our regular content and people, like not the people during the live stream, but the people watching the video afterwards have been a little bit like, what the heck are you doing, Simone? Why, why is this so bad? And I totally understand because if I would watch one of these live streams thinking about it as like our regular content, I would also be like, what is this like 15 minute long sausage? Um, but Scott and I have been doing live streams with Patreon supporters for a while and I think it's just like a really fun way to get to hang out because I'm pretty bad to, or bad at like uh, uploading videos, I'm also bad at answering messages and comments and I still like want to hear from you and I really enjoy this interaction and I hope that the ones who are watching it or you, you who's watching it also can like see the value in it. It's a little bit different, but think of this as like a hangout session. You can ask me questions, ask me for advice. I'll write you a freaking horoscope if you want me to. And then also we just happen to have this like really expensive robot arm to play with. Um, I saw some comments about people being like, I wonder if she's locked into a contract. And that just really warms my heart because I know that you would have my back. But Kuka has been really sweet and great. And all of this, I mean, it was my idea and I'm, I'm the one who wants, wants to do this. So I'm not like, this is all done freely and because I want to spend time with you. But we do have a safety disclaimer. Do you want to read it, Scott? Yeah. Warning, the robotic application shown in this video has been prepared in consultation with professionals and been enacted in a controlled environment. Using a robot without the required safety precautions may result in serious injury or property damage. Accordingly, the producers and Kuka insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any activity performed on this broadcast without the support of qualified professionals. Do you think at the end, we're doing this for 12 episodes, do you think at the end of it you'll know it by heart? Yeah, that, it haunts me in my dreams. It haunts you in your dreams. <laughs> That's bad dreams. Okay, I'm going to go into my office and we're going to try and floss using this robot arm. Do 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 do. Let's talk about teeth, baby. Let's talk about dentistry. Da, 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 da. Uh, so, okay, before you floss, you need to get your teeth dirty. So put some teeth onto this robot arm. And this, I think, is one of the weirdest things I've seen all week. So I have some, like, kale quinoa salad, which is perfect for getting stuff in your teeth. So we'll see if we can get some into it here. Uh, so eat. <laughs> This is not. Eat. Oh. While you're feeding it, people are wondering how you get the ideas for this. Um, how I got the idea for this. I think it was, I have no idea. I mean, I, I just like these teeth and it's like, what happens if we put it on? This feels really weird. Um, and also flossing. I mean, like the first shitty robot I built was, it's getting nothing on it. God damn it. Uh. I, built, I mean, the first shitty robot I built was the toothbrush helmet. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and flossing is like this other thing you really have to do. So I think it's about time. It's actually been requested quite a lot that I make a flossing robot. But I decided not to use my own mouth because gums. <laughs> it's better. Okay. Uh, well, if you doubted that these live streams would be fun to watch, aren't you convinced now? Yeah. We're just going to have to put this stuff in manually. While you're doing that, people also want to know what your favorite food is. What my favorite food is? Okay. Uh, so I sent like a mental barrier for myself that when I start talking and expect that people find it interesting what I have for breakfast, that's like when I need to stop. <laughs> I eat avocado toast, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh, my favorite food, my favorite vegetable is eggplant, but only if cooked right. Yeah, not because of the eggplant emoji. So I think, uh, wait, we need to we need to remove this. I think this is inadequate. Can you see it from over there? Can people see it? This is an adequate amount of kale. We're just gonna like drape it. It's really, this is like where the artistry comes in. Some people have food between their teeth and you're like, that's like a painting. And you're always like, should I tell them or should I not tell them? It's someone's last day in San Francisco. They're wondering what they should do. Your last day in San Francisco. Where, where are you going? Where are you moving? Uh, what should you do? You should, I don't know. What's like a good thing to do? Oh, this is an awkward angle. 
have a good cup of coffee, and then also maybe, no, we probably won't have time to do that today. But we were talking about that we would hide this uh, dental model somewhere in San Francisco. We're gonna give you a clue on an Instagram story in a bit because we still need to hide it. Um, so maybe looking for that, but that's probably not gonna happen until next week, so. Because wouldn't you want this? No? Okay. People are also asking what those green hands are behind you. These green hands? I think you got them, Scott. Did you not? What, what, what did we get them for? My mom found them at Daiso. Your mom found them? What, but I think we got them for a project, or did we just get them because they were fun? I think we, it was for space training. We needed some potential astronaut gloves. Right, yeah, because we were going to do, so that was one of the ideas of what we would do uh, in the bathroom episode, that I would have to like do some very mundane and intricate tasks, like solder like 300 LEDs, and I'd have to like wear gloves of some sort. Uh, but I think we, we never went through it, but then I just like the gloves. Also, your mom's great. Um, so people are asking if we can zoom. Would you mind just holding up the teeth so people can see the food? Yeah. Do you want proof that there's food here? There's like a little bit of food, but we're gonna, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get it out, but we'll, we'll try, we'll, we'll do our best robotic effort. I just need to put these grippers back on um, so that we can attach the flossing thing. While you're doing that, people, uh, two people asked how old you were when you started building. I, I mean, I built a lot of stuff as a kid, but I mostly like fiddle stuff out of wood. Uh, so maybe like eight? seven um but i didn't start building robots and building or like tinkering with electronics until i was like 23 so oh, not that long ago i mean it's only like six months ago no i'm 27 now <laughs> be forever 23 um okay let's do this yeah but i have it i mean we have it we have some projects coming up so yeah, we have some in incoming stuff that we're doing. Wait, let's floss this first and then I'll show you. I actually really want to get your input on some stuff because I'm struggling with some things. That's like one of the most daunting things about doing this is that like, what? Yeah, we're like successfully getting in there. Uh, Simone, some people are asking for a Scott face reveal, um, but we're dressed as twins on your Instagram. So. We are, there's, there's like plenty of photos of us. Scott, do you want to do a face reveal? Uh, Just for like half a second. Yeah. yeah. Dee -dee! <laughs> but I understand that you're like, where does that handsome voice come from? Um, yeah, but I, I wanted, okay, so one of, one of the things I was saying, like one of the most daunting things about doing this is like, I'm just a hobbyist, uh, as you might be able to tell when it comes to like building stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not an engineer of any sort. So I'm like self-taught when it comes to mechanics and to engineering or at electronics. And I know that I have so many people watching that are really good at these things. And that's like actually sometimes a little bit nerve wracking because you're like, eh. it's like you have to perform in front of professional ballerinas. Um, but then I realized that like the flip side of that is that I have so many people to ask uh, for, for advice and there's like, thousands of thousands of experts so including a dentist who's watching right now including a dentist is there really a dentist watching right now house. really do would you recommend this that's all i want to get because like my toothbrush helmet is recommended by zero out of zero dentists but it does your front teeth really well but nothing else um but having this recommended by at least one dentist even if it was the dentist that shot cecil the lion i would be happy um but yeah, I'm a, so the next project that we're doing is a hammering robot, which is, I mean, it's like a fairly basic idea and that I've been wanting to do for a while. By the way, this is going so well, I almost want to put my own face in there, but also really not. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to do a hammering robot. Oh, just as I was saying that it was going well, it locked out. While you're uh, doing that, people are asking, uh, what's up with the houseboat and what music do you like? Um, I, so the houseboat is still getting sold. Um, my mom is actually selling it. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's still there, but it's, uh, yeah, we're still working on it. 
Okay, wait. No, what's happening? Okay, we have a backup plan if things are not working. There's a collision. Oh, it's colliding into this one. Okay, what about now? Uh, so this is what's gonna happen if it crashes into me. It just locks up because it says like, oh, there's a collision detected. We're not playing it safe. Um, but yeah, the, the houseboat is still up. We have some people looking at it, but it takes a really long time. I knew that it would take a really long time because it's like, they're, they're not very easy to sell. And yeah, it's a process. So people have also asked about space too. Yeah. How are you feeling about NASA if you're headed there? <laughs> I got some, Issa threw some shade on Twitter a couple, couple of weeks back. Uh, when I, I mean, I was like just being dumb and tweeting something about like, hey, can you send me to space? And they're like, do you really think 48 hours in a bathroom is going to be enough to go to space? Our astronauts do like years of training and I was like, out. Um, but no, I'm still working on it. But first I need to get this robot art working. But actually, let's just like, ah! no. Wait, it's so close but it might almost be puppet time. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, but let's, uh, let's, I wanna show you the other project that I'm working on. Someone is watching this at school right now. Really? Are you having a lesson during because rebel? No, don't, don't do that. Okay, but hammering robot, let's talk about hammering robot. So I wanna do a hammering robot. Basically, all I want is a GIF of it breaking a computer, as in like a reaction GIF to when you're upset with your computer or you're upset with the internet or anything like that. Um, so I just like, I really wish that there was like a mechanical movements foundation course or something like that that I could take. Cause I'm always like really, I just wanna know how to translate force and motion into, into, into different directions and different movements. Um, because this is like, Okay, so this is what's called like a four bar, four bar motion or something like that. So I have a servo motor right here. This is like the little, just the little thing I made. And this is the, the hammer, what you have to visualize is the hammer. And then just a suction cup so you can like attach it to any surface. And it just goes like this. But even with a super light hammer, we like tried it with this hammer. I think it's like eight ounces it can't really reliably lift it, even though it's a really strong um, servo motor. So if you have any input on how to do that, I know that probably the easiest would be having a linear actuator and having the pivot point really close to the linear actuator and go up and down, but I don't know. I, I really don't know how to do it. I haven't used linear actuators before. I always use servo motors for everything. People are saying four bar linkage and counterbalance. Counterbalance! Would that mean that we have something here? I think so, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, uh, yeah. Also stepper motor? Yeah, maybe. And then springs or hydraulics are also suggested. Yeah, I mean, I've been thinking about getting into, I really want to get into air pistons because you get so much force and so fast. Um, but I'm also like, you have to get this entire infrastructure. Like I have a whole infrastructure around servo motors, uh, which is really nice. So I don't have to buy a lot of parts when I want to build a project with servo motors. But at the same time, I feel like it might be worth getting into air pistons because you can just like, boom, boom, boom. Should we try and get this started? Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Again, just for people. So it's a safety thing that just happened. That's why it stopped. Yeah. Which is in essence, it's a really nice thing because it means that if, uh, you would like get in the way of the of the robot, then it would actually stop and not crush you. Because it's what's, I mean, we've like said this a bazillion times on other live streams, but it's a collaborative robot arm. So it's like meant to be around humans. And it's like, even though it's really strong, it won't hurt you, just like me. Somebody just asked um, why you're not showing the process of building robots. Um, I, uh, so I don't show the process of building robots that much because it's really, it really stresses me out to film and build at the same time. I, I mean, like the build, building stuff is the part of my job that I enjoy the most. And I kind of just let myself do that by myself because otherwise I'm always like really, even if it's just me, myself, or having a camera that's rolling, it just, it always like has this like presence in some way and it makes me self-conscious. So I like kind of keeping building, but I've been trying to do a little bit more of just like having something time-lapse so you can see that 
it's me and not like a team <laughs> building stuff silently, which a lot of people seem to think, which is kind of funny. Because I'm like, if I had a whole team, these projects would probably work better. Uh, wait. Ryan asked earlier, do you ever feel uh, uncomfortable or awkward talking to the camera? Uh, live streams is probably as awkward as it gets. I mean, it's just like a weird, it's good since we have Scott here, but I did some live streams. I did like one live stream up, at, not on Patreon, but on the main channel and where I like open packages and I had to really prepare for it. And suddenly it was just like thousands of people watching. And it's like this very weird way of talking because you're basically talking to yourself, but as if it was to other people. Um, but otherwise, no. But I mean, it's always like when you're filming with a new team, it can be awkward because you're like trying to be funny and then you're like, what if they really hate it? I'm not getting, I'm not having any luck with this. But wait, now it's like all green. Ah! A little bit. It's still live. We're, we're going to get it into live, but I think we're going to have to do it off this live stream. Uh, we got a little bit of flossing done. I feel like this might be some sort of like low water mark for, for this entire live stream series, but I am really excited about the episode next week because we have a guest on. William Osman is going to come on, and I know it's been like super requested that we hang out and do something together. So we're going to do a live stream, and we're also going to film a regular video, so that is like... I'm stoked about that. And that's like the other thing I really like about these live streams is that I have an excuse to get really cool people here and, and get to hang out. You being some of them. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend. Bye. Don't forget to floss. <laughs>